Good night, everybody. Hello, everybody. Good evening. <clears throat> How are you, yo? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm great, Victor. Thank you so much for asking. Estoy excelente. Ya hoy es la última clase de la semana, right? So let's check. Oh, yes. Yes. Finally. And then you rest three days. Luego descansamos tres días y venimos de regreso on Monday. Right, let me check. Vamos a esperar los minutitos que faltan para que entren sus compañeros a clase. All right? And I will see you in some couple of minutes. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. Good evening, everyone. Bienvenidos sean todos a su clase de inglés. Es un gusto pues, poder tenerlos en la clase, all right? Let's get started. Iniciemos ya, everybody. Does it have a view? All right. Vamos a terminar este día completamente la section two, all right? Now, please remember that for today, you should be able to finish section one and section two, all right? Ya para este día tendremos que estar totalmente disponibles para terminar la sección uno y la sección dos, all right? Así que este día finalizamos la sección dos con contenido de clase. Si ustedes están la posibilidad de avanzar más en el fin de semana, go do it, all right? Hágalo, bienvenido sea. And congratulations to you. Felicidades si usted lo está haciendo. Y si no, si vamos al mismo paso, it's okay. No hay ningún problema, ¿ok? We are in class number four. Estamos en clase número cuatro. Let's check. Do you remember? ¿Se recuerdan? Number one. Mention at least three vocabulary words related to house and apartment. <coughs> Let's see. Uh, we have Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Hi. Ok, Gaby, dígame, eh, tres palabras en relacionados al vocabulario que vimos ayer. Hi, a la otra persona que dijo hello. Um, bedroom. Bedroom, ajá. Uh -huh. mm, bathroom. Bathroom. Living room. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good. Bedroom, bathroom, living room. Excellent, that's it. Thank you. Let's check. Victor Gutierrez, tell me another three. Dígame otras tres, Victor, please. Lobby, garage, mm -hmm. and stair. Stairs, excellent. Very good job. Let's check. Let's go with. Miren, les voy a pedir de favor que cuando usted entra a la clase, tenga mucho cuidado con el hecho de que su micrófono se puede abrir. ¿Ok? Puede encender el solito y se va a escuchar todos los ruidos que usted tenga en su casa o se está moviendo el cuaderno, todo eso se escucha, ¿verdad? Right? <coughs> Entonces, eh, let's be careful with that. 
Let's see, vamos con Katia Canjura. Katia, dígame otras tres pa palabras del vocabulario que vimos ayer. Kitchen, elevator, eh, living room. Excelente, thank you. Kitchen, thank you. elevator, you. Excellent, living room. Very good. Now, everybody, let's move on to the following. Nos vamos a mover. Este era el vocabulario que vimos ayer. Ahora vamos a ver estas preguntas. Solo una pareja participó ayer en esto. Ok, so let's check. Hagamos una recapitulación de la pronunciación. Ok, here we go. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Recuerden, simple present short answers. Si son respuestas chiquitas o cortitas, solo equivale a yes, I do o no, I don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. The, do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay? Recuerden, el subject pronoun it equivale para todo lo que no sea un ser humano, es decir, una persona, right? Puede ser un objeto, puede ser una casa, puede ser un color, puede ser anything else. <coughs> But not a human, pero no un ser humano. All right. Eso es para el it. En este caso, en la última pregunta que tenemos, does the house have a yard? House equivale al subject pronoun it. All right. Now, let's check. Vamos con Samuel Isaac. Samuel, usted va a preguntar y Carla Melisa, usted contesta. Please, action. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No. Do the bathrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No. No, they don't. No se arre antes el micrófono, Carlita, porque no llega la segunda respuesta de usted. No nos alcanza a llegar, ¿ok? Do is Chris living in the house? Yes, he does. No, he does. Excelente, ahora sí. Ajá, Samuel. Do is the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No. It doesn't. All right. Esa última respuesta no nos llegó. Okay, everybody. Excellent. Thank you, Carlita and Samuel. Samuel, please repeat after me. Does. 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 Exactly. Does. Right. That's correct, Samuel. Thank you. Ahora vamos con otra parejita. Let's check. Let's go with Marlon Escalante and Fanny Marlene, please. Okay, Marlon. Usted pregunta, Fanny, usted contesta. Action. Do you live in apartment? Yes, I do. I do, perdón. Okay. Y la otra, la otra respuesta. Ah, no, I don't. No, sorry. All right, excellent. Do the bedroom have windows? Yes, they do. No, they not. Okay. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he's, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, I does. No, I, it, I, I, it doesn't. I, it doesn't. Uh -huh, excellent. Thank no, you. <laughs> Thank you, Fanny and Marlon. It's okay. Don't worry, right? Por eso lo pongo a practicar. Porque a veces, bueno, en este caso creo que no se puede ver muy bien la imagen a veces, ¿ok? So, entre más practican ustedes y escuchen la pronunciation, más fácil es para el cerebro adquirir el contenido, right? 
Recuerden que no es nuestra lengua nativa. Estamos adquiriendo otra lengua, right? And sometimes, even Spanish is difficult for us, right? Inclusive a veces, todavía el español se puede volver un poco difícil para nosotros. Así que entre más practicamos, es mejor. Ok? Very good. Now, let's go to the next one. Ahora vamos con otra pareja. Juan Diego, usted, ahora usted va a contestar, Juan Diego. En Maybelline, Carolina, usted pregunta. Action. Do you live in apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Uh, do the bedroom have window? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Uh, does Chris live in the house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Very good, very good fluency, excellent. Let's go with Karen Marisol. Karen, usted pregunta. Jonathan Burgos, usted contesta. Y esa es la última pareja, okay? Action. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Excellent. That's correct, everybody. Thank you so much. Please, let's remember. For the pronouns I, you, we, and they, it's a staple, you guys, all right? Ya está establecido. Solo utilizamos el do, el don't. Para los pronouns he, she, or it, utilizamos el does or doesn't. Ok, por favor, no pronunciemos. Eh, en este caso, yo sé que el do suena como si tuviera u y está correcto si usted dice do. Pero en el caso de does and doesn't, no podemos decir do's or doesn't, all right? Sino que decimos does, doesn't. Casi como si tuviera una por ahí, ok? Very good. Now, everybody, let's check what else do we have. Veamos qué más tenemos. Let's practice. Let's see, vamos con... Isabel Castellanos, please, léame las instrucciones. Teacher, no puedo ver la pantalla, creo que es por problema de internet. Oh, ok, don't worry, no se preocupe, está bien, gracias por avisar. Vamos con Gabriela Molina, entonces, léame las instrucciones, please. Let's practice. Word individual create a let's three question using auxiliar do or does according to your subject then ask your question to your classmate that's correct excellent thank you so much miss molina muchísimas gracias okay now everybody three questions <clears throat> si usted no puede con tres preguntas entonces dos vaya una con do y una con does it's okay Pero eh, recuerden, en el caso del DAS, podrían preguntarle, supongamos que eh, Gabriela le pregunta a Jonathan, ¿ok? Gabriela puede preguntar por una tercera persona para utilizar el DAS, ¿all right? Uh, does your sister have an apartment? Or does your sister live alone? Or does your cat eh, uses a lot of, I don't know, a lot of sand, right? Cat utiliza mucha arena o cosas así. Busquen la manera de utilizar el DOS, pero recuerden que es para la third person singular. Ok. Let's work on this. Trabajemos en esto. Take your time. Piensen bien cómo van a unir las preguntas y recuerden con qué sujeto van cada uno de estos.
Recuerden que la persona que utilice la pregunta con el DAS, eh, dependiendo del sujeto, cualquiera de los tres sujetos que utilice, la otra persona tiene que estar pendiente bien de escuchar con qué sujeto está preguntando la persona A, supongamos, para que la persona B pueda responder, for example, yes, it does, o no, she doesn't, o yes, he does. Okay? Hay que estar muy pendiente de qué subject está utilizando la persona. El tema, está en private el mensaje, vamos a ver. ¿Dónde está? Teacher, yes. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, este, como recién entré, las tres questions, este, ¿son tres de cada una o solo son tres? No, son decir? tres en totalidad. Si usted quiere hacer una con do y dos con dos, o también tienen la opción de hacer una pregunta con do y una pregunta con dos. Ok, thank you. All right, excellent. Ready, teacher. Excellent, very good. Let me hear you. Uh, vamos a ver. Isabel, usted es la que terminó, ¿verdad? Yes. All right. Vaya, usted, para que sirvamos de ejemplo a los demás compañeros de cómo vamos a trabajar esto, Damari, usted pregunte. Okay. Um, do you cook every day? No, I don't. <laughs> okay. That's Does um does she cook every day? Mm, you are talking about my mother or my sister? Um, your mother. Okay, mama. Yeah, she cooks every day. Yes, she does. Okay. Does she read at night? Your um father. Does my father? ¿Cómo sería la does, pregunta? Does your father? Does she read? read? Uh, ah. uh, how do you say la, leer? Does he. Does he read? Mm -hmm. Does he read uh, he. at night? Me está diciendo she, she y tiene que ser she, Tamari. Ok. Sí, yes, este, mire, creo que aquí lo va a lograr ver en la pantallita. He. No, he. Porque me está preguntando por mis padres. Yes. Does he. Does he read? No. Uh, yes, he does. He does. Very good, Damaris. Excellent. Thank you. Very good questions. All right, everybody. Let's go with another one. ¿Alguien más que ya finalizó para hacer otra player? Ok, Juan Diego. Excellent. ¿Alguien más para que se una con él? No tengan pena. <laughs> Let's check. Vamos con. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Fanny Marlene. Ok, Fanny, usted va a trabajar con Juan Diego. Juan, usted le pregunta a Fanny. Fanny, usted contesta. Escuche bien por qué sujeto le pregunta. Okay. Um, do you have siblings? 
Repeat, please. Do you have siblings? Siblings eh, son familiares, Fanny, o hermanos. Mm -hmm. right? Hermanos. Mm -hmm. Ay, no le entiendo. Pues Pregunté de nuevo, Diego. Do you have siblings? Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, does your brother have a pet? No, he doesn't. Very good. Um, does your brother cook? No, 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 he's not. No, he doesn't. 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 Okay. Excellent, Fanny. Ahora usted, Fanny, usted le pregunta a Diego. Uh, do you like the soccer? This playing soccer? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. um, does he enjoy classic music? Repeat, please. Does he enjoy cl classical music? Uh, does he? Uh, aquí está digo. Does he enjoy? Classical music? Oh, yes. Yes, he, he does. Excellent. Very good. Very good job, guys. Se fijaron, miren, aunque a Diego no se le preguntó directamente en el he por, por quizás por su padre o por su hermano o su amigo, pero él don solo incorporó la respuesta. Yes, he does. ¿Por qué? Porque estaba prestando atención al sujeto, right? Entonces no era tan necesario, estamos improvisando aquí, no era tan necesario saber ¿Quién era ese subject? Simplemente escuchó el sujeto y él lo aplicó ya en la respuesta. Excelente trabajo, Fanny and Diego. Very good. Now, let's go with another pair. Thanks. Vamos con otra pareja. You're welcome. Ok, otra pareja. Do I have another me, A ver, ¿quién dijo mí? Maybelline. Excellent, Maybelline. Very good. En Vanessa Bermúdez. Ok, Maybelline, usted le pregunta a Vanessa. Vanessa, usted responde. Ok. Uh... <laughs> Do you like the basketball? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Uh, does your parents live in the with you? Podría repetir la pregunta. Does your parents live in with you? Does your parents live with you? Quiere decir si mis padres viven conmigo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exactly, yes. está preguntando eso. Uh, no. No, they. Okay. No, they. Don't. Living with me. No, they don't. Como son respuestas chiquitas. No, they don't. Ah, okay. No, they don't. Okay, very good. ¿Tiene uh, otra pregunta, Maybelline? Uh, do you celebrate Thanksgiving Day? Oh. Yes, I do. Very good. Okay. Now, Vanessa, usted le pregunta a Mabel, please. Do you like pizza? Yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, very good. Excellent. <laughs> and does she work every day? Yes, every your, day. Your mother works. Uh, does your mother work every day, maybe? Uh, does your mother work every day? Yes, uh, here in the house. Yes, she does, maybe. Oh, perdón. <laughs> yes, she, she does. Excellent. Very good. Sí, porque estamos trabajando con respuestas chiquititas, all right? Very good. Vanessa, yes. ¿tiene otra pregunta? Yes. Do your siblings go to school? Uh, perdón, siblings es... Hermanos. Uh, mm, repeat, please. Repeat again, Vanessa, please. So, siblings go to the school. Mm -hmm. uh, no. So, um, your siblings go to the school. Uh, no, they don't. 
Uh -huh. Y perdón, no sería does, es do. Do your siblings go to school. Porque okay. siblings equivale al, al they. Y si está correcto su respuesta, Maybelline. No, they don't. Excelente. Okay. Very good. Yay. Bravo. Miren, a veces el cerebro nos juega, eh, nos juega mal. <ríe> ok. Se fijaron, sonaba bonito decir, does your siblings, pero realmente gramatical, de, ya hablando gramaticalmente, eso no estaba correcto. Era como dijo Vanessa, do your siblings, right? Go to school. Excelente, everybody. Now, let's go with the last pair. Tenemos una última pareja, yo la voy a elegir. Let's go with Jonathan Burgos. Usted le pregunta a Marlon Escalante, ¿ok? And then vice versa. Yo, teacher. <laughs> Try. Tente. Uh, do you sport every day? Yes, I do. Does he enjoy sport? Yes, he does. Solo dos, dice Okay, very good. Ahora Marlon, usted le pregunta a Jonathan. Um, your sister does go to the party tonight? Hmm, hmm, hmm. No, Let's check no that. I don't. <laughs> okay, no, vaya, okay. chequeo esa pregunta, Marlon. Uh, eh, tonight creo, is for a future. Tonight creo, is para un okay. futuro, right? Uh, in the night. Ajá. So, mm, no, tomorrow. No, recuerde que aplica no. solo para cosas como de rutina diaria, right? Podría preguntar algo como, does your sister cooks every day? Okay. Oh, does your sister clean the house every day or work every day? Erase, erase the tonight. So I can say, your sister does go to the party. Ajá, uh -huh. does your sister, porque recuerde que primero va el, el auxiliar y luego va el sujeto. Does your sister go to the party? Ajá, uh -huh, Jonathan. In Spanish, please. ¿Su hermana va a las fiestas? ¿O va a la fiesta? Que yo sepa, no. <laughs> no, she doesn't. No, she does. <laughs> ok, very good. Y usted, mi hermana, tengo... <laughs> Como no tengo. Okay. The next one, Marlon. Do you go to the gym? No. Oh. No, I don't. Well, no, I don't. Excellent. Very good. Very good job. ¿Tiene otra, Marlon? Um, does you live in, in Santa Tecla? Ah, do you live in Santa Tecla? Do you Tecla? live, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you live in Santa Tecla? No, I doesn't. No, I don't. No, I don't, sorry. All right, excellent. Very good job, guys. Ya ven, este tipo de practices nos hacen recordar cómo vamos a utilizar los subjects, cómo vamos a utilizar los auxiliares, cuándo puedo utilizar el DAS, <coughs> cuándo no lo debo de utilizar, all right? Fijándonos siempre en nuestros subjects. Y los felicito, han hecho un trabajo increíble. Very good. ¿Tienen alguna duda? Porque vamos a movernos ya de topic. Entonces, ¿tienen alguna duda con el uso de los sujetos? Digo, de, con el uso de los auxiliary verbs. No. No. All right. Excellent. Bye. Si otra vez le pregunto, estoy, Silvita, no me esté manchando la pizarra, please. <laughs> si otra vez le pregunto, hey, do you like pizza? No me vayan a decir, yes, I do. All right? Porque me va a dar algo. <laughs> Now, everybody, let's check this vocabulary. And we're talking about, let me check. We're talking about the things that we have at our house, all right? And let me check. Vocabulary, house and apartment. Todavía estamos como parte, ah, no, este es el vocabulary de furniture. Furniture es mobiliario, right? Uh, todo va básicamente lo que tenemos en nuestra casa. Entonces, vamos con la pronunciation, escuchemos <coughs> cuidadosamente. Here we go. Armchairs. Armchairs son las sillas que tienen los bracitos. Por eso se llama armchairs. Stubs. Stubs es estufa. Curtains. 
pictures, clock, bed, desk, lamps, microwave oven, microwave oven, table, coffee table, bookcase, dresser, chairs. Estas son chairs normal, sillita normal, ¿ok? Mirror, refrigerator, esa palabra, refrigerator, refrigerator. No existe refrigerero, no. Refrigerator, refrigerator. Sofa, rock, television. All right? Now, let's go. Antes de, yo voy a escoger a las personas que van a pasar a decirme el vocabulario. Pero antes de pasar, les voy a dar la oportunidad de que me pregunten si hay alguna palabra que sienten que les va a costar. Iniciemos con Lorena Álvarez. Ok, Lorena. Ok. Ve al vocabulario si hay alguna que cree que le puede costar o no escuchó la pronunciation. pronunciation. Um, no sé si estará bien refrigerator. Yes, refrigerator. Okay. Very good. Eso pensar. Okay. Mm, pues no mucho. Okay. Más o menos. Iniciemos ya entonces. Quiero escuchar. En, en Shire, Stow, Corkens, Pictures, Clock, Bed, Dex, Dax, Lamps, Sofá, Television, Row, Mirror, Refrigerator, Mirror, Shares, Microwave, oven, uh, tall, coffee tall, um, dresser, dresser, bookcase. Excellent. Repeat after me, Lorenita. Table. Table. Uh -huh. Coffee table. Coffee table. Uh -huh. Excellent. Y la otra, la última sería bookcase. Bookcase. Excellent. Very good job, Miss Alvarez. Thank you, Miss. You're welcome, honey. Ya está. Ok, let's go with another one. Vamos con Samuel Isaac. Ok, Samuel, chequea el vocabulario y dígame si hay alguna que cree que le puede costar. El refrigerador. Ah, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excelente, así es. Solo que he corrido, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excelente, sir. Very good. Vamos bien. Y la de la silla, la primera. Armchairs. Armchairs. Uh, armchairs. Armchairs. Excellent. Solo una cosita, Samuel. Curtains. Cortinas. No se dice curtains. Se dice curtains. Curtains. Mm -hmm, very good. Curtains. La T no suena. Ok. Solo esas, creo. Ok. Iniciamos ya entonces, Samuel. Armchairs. Stool. Curtains. Pictures, clock, bed, table, microwave, oven, refrigerator, lamps, desk, sofa, uh, bookcase, coffee table, dresser, chairs, mirror, room, y television. All right, rock. Rock. All right, esta chiquita que tiene U, Bruce ah, Rock. 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 Yes, sir, very good, Samuel, thank you. Bye. Ok, everybody, vamos a pasar con alguien más. Repito solo la palabra curtains. 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 All right. Es como una palabra, ¿se han fijado montaña? En inglés se escribe mountain, pero no se pronuncia mountain. Solo suena mount. Mount. All right. Hay muchas palabras y poco a poco ustedes las van a ir conociendo en las cuales hay algunas letras que no se pronuncian. Por ejemplo, la palabra order, right? Ustedes ven que la palabra de ordenar tiene una D, pero no se pronuncia la D, solo se dice order, order, right? Así que así van a ir aprendiendo, es parte del vocabulary, ¿ok? <coughs> Vamos con Karen Marisol. Ok, Karen, su turno. Vea el vocabulario y dígame si hay alguna que que le cuesta un poquito. Mm, cortinas. Curtains. Okay. Curtains. 
Carnies. Carnies. <clears throat> armchair, armchairs, stove, curtain, pictures, clock, bed, table, micro, micro oven, refrigerator, lamps, desk, sofa, television, rug, mirror, chairs, coffee table, dresser, bookcase. Very good, Karen. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Victor Gutierrez. Ok, Victor, vea el vocabulary. Dígame si hay alguna que necesite que le repita la pronunciation. Y si no hay ninguna, puede iniciar ya, Victor. Hola, lo escucho. Mm, creo que tiene malo Laura. Sí, lo escucho ahora, Víctor. Vale. Solo con el microondas le quería. Ah, microwave oven. Va. Bien. Sería armchairs, table, stop, corn, microwave oven. Pictures, clock, bed, lamps, refrigerator, desk, sofa, rug, television, mirror, chairs, dressers, coffee table, bookcase. All right, excellent. Repeat after me, Victor. Refrigerator. Refri refrigerator. Refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. right. refrigerator. Excellent, sir. Very good. Vamos bien, vamos bien. Ok, everybody. Una cosita. Notarán ustedes que sofa está escrito literalmente como lo escribimos en español y lo pronunciamos así, sofá en español. Pero aquí decimos sofa. All right, sofa. No nos olvidemos. <laughs> Let's go with another one. Vamos con Marlon Escalante, please. Ok. Um, chairs, curtain, picture, club, bed, lamps, refrigerator, um, coffee table, dress, bookcase, chairs, mirror, sofa, room, television, desk, and microwave oven. All right, excellent. Repeat after yeah. me, Marcos. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Gracias. Ahora vamos con una última chica. Let's go with Gabriela Molina, please. Tell me the vocabulary. Yes, teacher. <coughs> Chair, stove, corny, picture, cook, bed, desk, lamp, sofa, television, row, mirror, refrigerator, microwave oven. Chair, table, coffee table, bookcase, dress. Excellent. Thank you, Gabriela. Very good job. Just repeat after me, Gabriela. Clock. Clock. Excellent. Very good. Eso sería la Okay. Very good, everybody. Thank you so much. Muchísimas gracias a todos los que pasaron. Hicieron un excelente trabajo. Okay. Los que no pasamos, tranquilos, ya va a llegar su tiempo de repetir en otra ocasión, otro vocabulario, ¿ok? Ya estamos bien cerquita. Vamos, este es un guiding example, ¿ok? Yo siempre los titulo así como guiding example y es un ejemplo, ¿ok? Un ejemplo guía para ustedes. <coughs> en este caso tenemos una oración, miren. My living room has a sofa, a television and a bookcase. Quiero que todos hagan una oración así, que diga, eh, my bedroom has la 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 o my kitchen has o my bathroom has right de una habitación usted va a decir qué es lo que hay en su habitación right qué es lo que tiene esa habitación let's do it please
Dom. Ok, I think it's enough time. Right? Yo creo que ya aquí todos finalizaron las sentences. Así que voy a iniciar a presentar. Por favor, tengan más cuidado con esos micrófonos que se nos abren de repente. Ok. Vamos con Vanessa Bermúdez. Ok, Vanessa, dígame. What things are in your. Bueno, no sé de qué va a hablar. Dígame usted su oración. Mm. Mm. In my bedroom. My bedroom has a, um, ¿cómo se dice cama? A bed. A bed and a sofa and, um, a, ¿cómo se dice? A closet, closet. Sorry. Closet. Yeah. And a closet. Very good, Vanesita. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with Jonathan Burgos. Ok, Jonathan. Hábleme de, del cuarto que usted eligió. Un kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, living room. My living room has a bed, a um, kitchen, a table, a um, video game. Uh -huh. A game console. A uh, game console. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent, Jonathan, very good. Let's go with <clears throat> Silvia Flores. Aha, Silvia, tell me, léame su oración. Okay, no tenemos a Silvia, let's go with Katia Canjura, please. Como ella lo está cogiendo, no me puede meter uno. My living room has a bed, a table, and clock, and television, and clock, closet. Um, solamente. All right, excellent. All right, excellent. <laughs> Ay, no me escucho multiplicada. <laughs> okay, let's check. Let's go with, vamos a ver quién manda el mensajito. Ok, Silvita, it's ok. Vamos con Juan Diego, please. Ajá, Diego, tell me. Se salió Juan Diego, quizás no está. Vamos con Maybelline Carolina. Uh, my bedroom has uh, two closets, two beds, and one shoemaker. All right, excellent. Very good, Mrs. Neros. Excellent. Let's go with Damaris Isabel. Aha, uh -huh, Damaris, tell me. Okay. My living room has desk, bed, bedside table, chair, TV, and closet. Excellent. Very good job. Very good. Let's listen to Samuel Flores. Aha, uh -huh, Samuel. My bedroom, bed, two my bedroom, my bedroom has, my bedroom has bed, two curtain, closed. Closet, all right, excellent. Closet. Very good, Samuel, thank you. Let's go with Fanny and the, the, the Fanny and Gabriela. My bedroom 
has mirror, lamp, and bed. Excellent, very good, thank you. Let's go with Molina, Miss Molina. My kitchen has a refrigerator, <coughs> microwave, oven, and a stove. Excellent, that's stuff, very good. Carla Melissa, tell me. My bedroom has a closet, a bed, and a table. Very good job, excellent, everybody. Thank you. Let's check. Vamos con la última personita, que sería Lorena Álvarez. Ajá, Lorena, tell me. Okay. My living room has sofa, a room, a television. All right, excellent. I my dining room has a table, uh, chairs. My room has lamps and dresser. Excellent, very good job. Three sentences, well done. Thank you. All right, everybody. Now, eh, let's check. Let's move on. Esta era lo de la practice que ustedes acaban de hacer. Los felicito, excelente. Vamos bien, muy bien. Let's check. There aren't any chairs, all right? Esta conversation me da mucha risa porque pobrecita la chica, right? <laughs> se, acaba, se acaba de independizar. No tiene nada en su casa. <laughs> Let's check. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Tiene, tiene sillitas, pero no tiene mesa. <laughs> And there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. All right, very good. Now let's go with, <clears throat> vamos con Karen Marisol, usted va a ser linda. Y vamos a ver. Marlon Escalante, ustedes, Chris. Action. Okay, this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. Okay, what do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa? Here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. Um, so let's go shopping next week. Excellent. Very good. Marlon le va a regalar la, la mesita, dice, okay? Very good. Excellent. Now, let's go with eh, Katia Kangura. Ustedes, Chris. Vanessa Bermudas. Ustedes, Linda. Action. Apartment is great. Thanks. Thanks. I love it. I love it. But I but really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent. Very good job, girls. Thank you. Let's go with Samuel. Samuel, usted va a ser Chris. And Fanny Marlene, usted va a ser Linda. Action. This apartment is great. Great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some fortune. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't table, a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room? And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. 
So let's go shopping next week. Weekend. Excellent. Thank you. Funny. Uh, repeat after me. Furniture. Furniture. Excellent. Very good. Ahora sí, vamos con Gabriela Molina. Usted es Linda. Jonathan Burgos. Usted es Chris. Action. This apartment is great. Same. I love it. But a really new song for me. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is a table. And there's no sofa here in, here in the living room. And there are rings and chairs. There are only these lamps. So let's go shopping next weekend. Excellent. Thank you, you guys. Very good. Let's go with Carla Melissa. Carla, usted va a ser Chris. Blanca Hernandez, usted va a ser Linda. Action. This apartment is great. Thank you. I love it, uh, but I'm um, really need some footage. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of trains. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but they eat a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this uh, lamp. So let's go shopping yeah. next weekend. Excellent. Thank you, girls. Very good job. Now, everybody, si notaron hay palabras nuevas aquí como dicen en aren't. Vamos a ver cómo trabajamos estas new words. There is, there are. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Miren la contraction. There's equals there is. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room, okay? Now, notice in this one, Notese, notemos, please, que en esta no tenemos contracción. Solo con el there is podemos hacer la contracción. En el there aren't any, ahí la contracción la hacemos entre el are y el not. Por eso suena there aren't, ¿ok? Pero de ahí no tenemos más contractions. <coughs> Now let's practice. Ahora quiero que ustedes practiquen. Let's start with... Vamos a iniciar con Karen Marisol, please. Léame las seis oraciones, please. There is a bed in the bedroom. There is no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Excellent. Thank you so much. Very good pronunciation. Let's go with Maybelline Carolina, please. Las seis oraciones, Maybelline. Uh, there's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There's it is in table in the kitchen. Uh, there are some chairs in the kitchen. There are not chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. That's correct. Excellent pronunciation. Very good. Let's go with Marlon Escalante, please. The six sentences. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a bed table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. 
Excellent, sir. Thank you so much. Very good students in pronunciation. Let's go with Vanessa Bermudez. Después de Vanessa, after Vanessa, Jonathan Burgos. Action, Vanessa. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. Excellent. Thank you, Vanessa. Very good job. Excellent pronunciation. Let's go with Jonathan. <coughs> There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There's, there's is a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. All right, excellent. Jonathan, repeat after me. There isn't. There isn't. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, everybody. Now let's move on to the follow. For singular, okay? Estas son las estructuras clave que usted tiene que tomar en cuenta al momento de utilizar el there is and there are. Por aquí tenemos, for singular objects, we use the structure there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus complement. All right, that's the structure. For plural objects, we use the following structure. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus complement, All right? Esta es la estructura. Donde usted ve que es la pleca es porque puede ser cualquiera de esas dos opciones. <coughs> Por eso el momento de leérselas les dije or. Ok, now let's listen to some of you. Vamos a escuchar a algunos de ustedes decir, decir estas estructuras. Iniciemos con Fanny Marlene, please. Léame la estructura for singular objects. For singular object, structure, there plus is in plus eight isn't no isn't isn't plus eight um or no or no a plus complement excellent very good si sí, recuerden que la pleca se lee or porque ah, or, puede, ser, ¿eh? puede ser una opción o la otra right excellent let's go with the maris isabel tell me the structure for plural objects For, for plural object, there plus are um, or aren't or plus some or um, any, any? Uh, or no or plus complement. Excellent. Thank you so much. All right, everybody, please copy these structures. Por favor, copien estas estructuras, ¿ok? Esto es basic y usted tiene que conocerlo, saber cuándo se va a utilizar, ¿all right? Remember, si solo estamos hablando de un objeto, utilizamos la primera estructura con el there is o there isn't. Si hablamos en plural, es decir, más de un objeto, estamos hablando dos, tres, cuatro, cinco o más, utilizamos there are o there aren't, ¿ok? Simple as that. Do you have any questions? ¿Tenemos alguna pregunta? About me, no. So only, only when I say one anything is like a similar. For example, when do you want to say, um, do you have hobbies? If you have a more hobbies, use you use an R. If when you only have one hobby, you use an is. Exactly, that's correct. It's the same thing, right? Whenever you're talking in singular, cuando sea, como acaba de mencionar usted, cuando hablamos en singular, only is. Si lo hablamos en plural, hacemos uso del are. Okay? Very good job. Now, let's check everybody. Any other comment, question, suggestion? Question, Miss. Yes, Lorena. Uh, donde dice estructura, los dos puntos, ¿cómo se mencionan? Ah... Uh, Double, no, no era double dot. Los dos puntos, no recuerdo, Lorena, right? Let me look for it. 
Vamos a buscar en algún diccionario. Tengo una PPT, ¿saben? Con los signos de gramaticales. Se la voy a traer. Ok. Let's check. Ah, colon. Um, ¿Cómo? Colon. colon. Y si fuera punto y coma, sería semicolon. Pero aquí los dos puntos son colon. Colon. Uh -huh. Literalmente se escribe okay. colon. Con C. Colon. Colon. C-O-L-O-N. C-O-L-O-N. C. -O -L -O -N. C, -O -L -O -N. C uh, punto y coma. Ah, ya punto y coma sería semicolon. Semicolon. Mm -hmm. Very good. Thank Excellent. you, Miss. You're welcome, Lorena. Now, if you don't have more questions or doubts about this, let's move forward. Ya para finalizar, okay? Because we're missing just less than one minute. We got this reading. Reading two special houses. Esto también puede quedar para lunes, okay? So don't worry. Esto solo para que veamos la pronunciación. Voy yo solita. Ya el lunes practican ustedes. <clears throat> Let's see. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses are near Miss Cisneros' house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neras loves it. Okay. All right, everybody. Time's up. Eh, se nos terminó el tiempo. Yes. Ajá, uh -huh, Samuel. Eh, esa parte sale en la plataforma y no sé si eh, yo le escribí al encargado de nosotros para pedirle el manual porque a veces en el manual vienen esas conversaciones o descripciones. Para, para el material de apoyo para seguir en la plataforma y adivinando me tocó hacerla porque en el video sale va Ajá. pero igual en el teléfono cuesta mucho y no se logra ver toda la, la descripción como le faltaba una parte sale no cortado le, no le pasaron el manual Samuel no 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 ha respondido el encargado de nosotros Va, entonces yo le voy a dejar ya puesto el mejor el mensaje a mi, a mi boss a ver qué me dice Okay. Sí, porque es cierto, a mí sale cortado. La segunda parte sale cortado. Ok, ok, Lorena. Vaya, entonces, buenas noches. Ok, eh, Samu, voy a escribirle a ver qué me contesta, ok? Bueno, chicos, ya no nos podemos saltar más porque se nos pasamos del tiempo, ok? So, I will see you on Monday. Bye, take care. Sí, bye, good night. Bye. 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 Thank you, Miss. Bye. Good night.